Hello everyone and welcome to Greenbiz Studio. My name is Jim Giles. I am the Senior Analyst for Carbon here at Greenbiz and I'm joined by Cheryl Telford who is the Chief Sustainability Officer at the Kemals Company. Hey Cheryl. Hey Jim, good to see you again. Yeah, so great to have you on. So just last week at our Verge conference, we were talking about your net zero target that you have there. For those who weren't able to make the conference, just tell us a little bit about that target. Sure thing. And we have two targets. Uh, One is to receive or to to achieve a 60% absolute reduction in our scope one and two emissions by 2030 on our journey to net zero 2050. These are ambitious goals, and the 2030 goal is very much aligned with the science-based target um, with our commitment to prevent that increase from uh, pre-industrial levels. We are entirely supportive of doing our part in addressing the global climate challenge. That is great to hear. So let's, let's dig into this. Uh, you told us about the target. Tell us about the things that you're going to have to do there within your company to deliver on that target. Absolutely. Between now and 2030, our focus is on, on multiple tiers. You know, first and foremost, doing everything that we can at our manu- manufacturing sites to make process improvements, uh, technology improvements to, to reduce our emissions period, full stop. We believe that the time to act is now. And so we're bringing all of our smart people to bear to address our emissions at our manufacturing sites. And then we are also looking for all of those opportunities to advance and enhance energy efficiency, whether it's a project that delivers a a 2% reduction in electrical demand, all of those projects matter. So we're amping up our work on energy efficiency. Next, it's about renewable energy and continuing to power more of our facilities with renewables. Uh, Example would be our uh, Mechelen facility in Belgium, which was our first 100% solar uh, powered facility, but we're continuing on that path. Um, Last but not least, we're not proposing to use offsets. Um, We really are focused on what actions can we take between now and 2030. And then as we venture beyond 2030 into 2050, we are exploring technology and how technology, which exists today, but some of which needs to be brought at scale, can help us and frankly others in our industry uh, to decarbonize their operations. So this is really exciting stuff, but of course, your ability to hit that target doesn't just depend on what you do within the company. Every company exists within an ecosystem of suppliers and government regulators. So let's just finish off today. I would love to hear what you would like to see from within that wider ecosystem. What would you like to see from policymakers and people in your supply network that will accelerate your progress toward net zero? Absolutely. And I love the way you call it an ecosystem because that's what it is. And when you are dealing with a global challenge, it's going to take radical partnerships, the likes of which many of us have never seen. And so if you think across the supply chain, absolutely, it is having conversations with our suppliers on how we can partner together, right? How can we work together? This is a a shared objective. But even beyond that, it's, it's the role of government right, and what policies are going to be put in place uh, to promote the greening of the grid and the infrastructure, you know, that will be required. I am fascinated by and following, not as closely as I I would like to because I'm not there, uh, the conversations at, at COP26. And clearly there's a role for businesses like Comores that have the commitment that are driving forward with their actions. There's also a role for a broader civil society, and we really do need the policy um, and financing, uh, frankly, to enable uh, the transition in a just way uh, between now and our ambition of 2050. 
That's great and fascinating. And I know I certainly will be watching your progress with interest and I'm sure many people uh, in the Greenbeers audience will be as well. Cheryl, thanks so much for sparing time to, to come to Greenbeers Studio today and talk about the work you're doing. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure to talk with you, Jim. Great, bye. Bye-bye.